The most important feature in industrial systems is stability. Systems cannot be allowed to fail. This makes the utility industry in particular reluctant to adopt cutting-edge technology. The industry simply cannot afford to rely on technology that hasn't had enough time to prove itself. So when has new technology had enough time to mature? And how long can the utility industry operate on old SCADA systems and remain competitive? In this video, we will explore how industrial mobile IT solutions might finally have reached a level of stability that makes it worth considering, and why it, in the long run, might be detrimental for companies to ignore. It's now 10 years ago Steve Jobs revolutionized mobile technology. And we are calling it iPhone. Mobile technology has come a very long way since then, and with 10 years of innovation, it's come to dominate the way we live. But what exactly is the difference between our trusted desktop software and then the mobile version of it? In the beginning, the difference was almost negligible. Mobile solutions were just a scaled down version of the desktop software. But in the past 10 years, a mobile first approach has created the standard for how we design mobile applications. With this design approach, desktop and mobile apps are now completely different, even though they often get the same job done. The innovation lies in how fast and comfortably you can get your work done. The major differences are of course, keyboard and mouse versus touch, one to three big screens versus one smaller screen, stationary versus mobile, and with a desktop, you don't have any extra hardware features like GPS, gyro data, Bluetooth, and proximity sensors. With this list of comparisons between mobile and desktop, it's easy to appreciate the different design approaches it requires to create user interfaces for both mobile and desktop. But before we lose ourselves in the detail, it's important to remember why we create industry software in the first place. What we need to do is convert real-world data to information we can act on. We need to reduce the time it takes to find relevant information. And we need to relieve organizations of human error and manual labor. In other words, we need to automate as much as possible. So why now and not 10 years ago? In the past, the most significant difference between mobile and desktop was the gap in computing power. Mobile units lack the necessary hardware to handle large amount of data. This is no longer the case. The cloud and stable internet connections has created a generation of IT solutions that run smoothly on any device. What you actually interact with on your tablet is just a user interface. All the data crunching happens in the cloud. This enables us to create some very interesting and powerful applications, especially if you consider both a desktop and a mobile version. But does this mean it costs twice as much to produce both the desktop and mobile version? Not really. Today, because of the cloud, the majority of the cost of building a SCADA system is offset to building the core system. When you've built the core system, all that's left is to build access to this. The access comes in the form of user interfaces, and these can be customized to your desktop or your mobile. So now you can actually have the best of both worlds without doubling the price tag. Taking this a step further though, by creating a core system, we're actually able to customize solutions to individuals in companies. And this is where the true innovation lies in these new SCADA systems, and we will see a lot more of this in the decade to come.